Hi everyone, it's Julie here. This video is for anyone who struggles with sleep. And it doesn't matter whether or not um, you go off to sleep straight away and then wake up in the night and can't go back to sleep. Or whether you just can't go off to sleep at all in the first place. So I want you to make sure that you're comfortable. Do all the usual sleep hygiene checks, make sure that you're warm enough or cool enough, whatever is comfortable for you. Get your pillows comfortable and again it doesn't matter whether you're on your side, on your back, facing forward, on your arms, however you like to sleep this is going to work for you. Okay, so first of all I want you to think about where my finger goes. So first of all, it's going to be on my shoulder. So I want you to keep your head still, either on the pillow or however you are. I want you to move your eyes down to your shoulder. And then I want you to go all the way up, over the top, down to your next shoulder, your other shoulder. And then all the way back, over the top again, and then down. So that's the part that you're going to do with your eyes. Now the next part is we're going to think about gratitude. Some things that you've got to be thankful for and we're going to go through the alphabet. So you start with A. So the first time you go over the rainbow, go A, say it to yourself. And then when you come back, think of something beginning with A that you have to be thankful for. And it might be the actions of others today. Somebody that's been really kind to you. Or it could be, I don't know, anything beginning with A. Okay, so that you go one way and you say the letter of the alphabet. You go back the other way with your eyes and say what you're grateful for. So for B, it could be, um, okay, so we'll go letter B and then B, grateful for the baby. C, so you go one way, C, and then with C, perhaps you're grateful for a cake that somebody bought you or a cuddle that somebody gave you. So you get the point. So what this does, it uses both sides of the brain and it also makes your eyes tired so that you can get quite comfortable and do this exercise backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards with your eyes. But you're also thinking about something specific. So if you've been having these conversations over and over and over in your mind, you know, oh, I wish I'd have said this, I should have said that, I should have remembered that. I wonder if I'll remember to get the shopping tomorrow. Um, I must make that list. Oh, I meant to phone work. All those things. And the reality is, in the middle of the night, you can't have those conversations with anybody. So you might as well just put them to one side and deal with them in the morning, where you'd be more equipped to deal with them. And if you're the sort of person that really worries that you are going to forget in the morning, leave a pad and pencil by the side, your bedside table make a note and then go on to do this exercise. Go through every letter of the alphabet. So you're doing the eyes one way, all the way down. And you say the letter of the alphabet and then coming back, whatever it is you're grateful for that belongs to that letter. So um, you might have had a really rubbish day but you're in bed, you're in a nice warm bed, so B could be for your bed. You could have had a big row with somebody and they're, they're having a go at you or they're nagging you. But you could have N, you could be grateful that they're nagging you because at least it shows they're concerned about you or they care. Even if at the time you really don't want to hear it. Okay, so go through the alphabet and do your eyes backwards and forwards. So... Where did we get to? D. D. Okay. So all the way over and down. D. 
and D, I'm grateful for the lovely day that I've just had. E. Okay, so it's the letter E. And I'm grateful for everything my family do for me. So you can get the point. And again, it doesn't matter if you're sleeping on your side, on your front, however you're doing it, you can just clo close your eyes if you want to, if you're sleeping downwards, but just behind your eyelids, do that arc, do that rainbow. And I don't know if you can see what's going on behind my eyelids, but you get the, get the point. It makes your eyes tired, it engages the brain. And whenever you think of something to be thankful for, even if every other part of your day has been rubbish, be something to be thankful for. Be thankful that you have got a roof over your head. Be thankful that although you might have colleagues that are really doing your head in, be thankful that you have a job. Just think of all those things to be grateful for, to be thankful for. And there must be at least 26 of them. So 26 letters of the alphabet. But usually, by the time you've got halfway there, you're asleep anyway. So if you have to do this every night, you're going to have to think of several things, aren't you? Lots of things beginning with A. But if you want to, if you've done A, B, C, D, and then you fall asleep, the next time, start in the middle. Start towards the end. And then if you reach Z, you can always go back to A again. Most people don't get through very many letters before they're drifting off to sleep. So have a think of that. Let me know in the comments how you're getting on. Has it worked for you? Do you find that by putting your thoughts out of your head, the imaginary conversations that you wish you'd have had with people and, oh, I should have done this, maybe we could have done that, maybe we should do that tomorrow. Okay, get rid of them and fill your mind with letters and things to be grateful for. Write down the things if you need to, if you think you're going to forget, if you're the sort of person that worries and think, oh, well, you know, it's all right doing this alphabet thing, but then by tomorrow I might have forgotten this fantastic idea that I've just had. So write them down. You know, keep a pen and, pa um, pen and a pad by your bedside table. Write them down. Get comfortable and start doing your alphabet and all the things that you have to be grateful for. And I hope that this has helped you. Um, let me know, send it to somebody else if you know that they struggle to sleep. It's a really easy one to do. You can teach it to children as well. Um, they might not quite understand the eyes. If you really want to with children, you can get them to go backwards and forwards. But for an adult, it is better to, if you can get your eyes to go over the top and then back. So the letter, one way, and what you've got to be grateful for, the other way. And thank you for watching. And again, let me know how you get on and send this to anybody you think it'll help. Bye.